goaltending continues to be an issue. But I'm more concerned with the power play. And if Mike Sullivan doesn't change some of the stuff that's going on there, um, you may end up with the same results. A lot of Hall of Famers on the ice, but, you know, perimeter passing shots, no rebounds. Well, in honor of tonight's Penguins performance, Bob, I intend to give you my absolute best opinions here in this first segment, and then things will get gradually worse in the second segment, and then I'm just going to completely mail it in in the third segment uh, to try to mirror their performance. You know, I think that everything should be on the table with the power play, and a continued frustration of mine is that they feel they have to stack the first one. They have such an embarrassment of riches offensively. They have so many guys who are skilled at so many different things but they try to put square pegs in the round holes so nobody's ego gets busted up by the fact that they maybe are on the second power play. Here's something I'd consider. Malkin loves operating off the half wall. Crosby operates best off the half wall. Send one of them to the second power play with Latang and let basically it be Crosby Carlson on one, Malkin Latang on the other, and fill in the spots around those two guys on each power play with players that complement them, honestly. I mean, I... It is such a, a consistent point of frustration. That should be the, this juggernaut for them that's impossible to stop, yet we see them play teams with lesser lights, guys who won't be in the Hockey Hall of Fame, who look much more efficient because there's some role definition. If I were Mike Sullivan, I would consider drastic changes. I would spare nobody's egos. I know that's easier said than done with the Penguins uh, and has been historically. And the other thing is I think they have to do this because – that power play is supposed to be the engine that drives them. Oh, you put the Penguins on the power play? Well, you're going to give up goals every single night if you do that. Instead, it's been a huge momentum suck, and it's been a major problem. Yeah, and I would I said this before. I've said it again. I'd put Jeff Carter on the first unit in front of the net in order to get some traffic and some rebounds. And again, shoot low, not into the glove. Ottinger was very good side to side with his glove. They're shooting high. They're not going to beat him. It's pure and simple. The only way you beat some of these guys is to hit it low, make him make a, a, skate, a save and then a rebound. They're not doing that, and I do agree. They need to shake up that power play. And, uh, if it doesn't happen, you're never going to get a consistent 60 minutes out of it. They have to live and die by that power play, and right now they're dying by it. So they're now 2-4. and four. They have Colorado coming in on Thursday. It will not get much easier after that. A couple of more games at home before they hit the road. So uh, wasted opportunity tonight. Meantime, uh, Mike Tomlin had a press conference today. Not much came out of that one. Um, and it was basically talking about how impressed, and he should be impressed with Jacksonville, they're five and two, Chris. Uh, what was impressive to me is they played four different games in 19 days in four different stadiums, two in London, and they're still winning, and they haven't had a bye week yet. Haven't had a bye week. They haven't really had Calvin Ridley get going since early in the season. Uh, ETN is really good. I know he was picked after Harris, and you know how I feel about first-round running backs, but that guy's a multi-purpose threat. Uh, he's been really good for them. Lawrence is only going to get better and better. I agreed with Tomlin saying it, it, the trajectory of that guy should continue to go up given the talent that he has and the fact that he's got some stability. I think that's a good football team. we got to take a break. We're overdue for that. we got Rick. we got Matt. we got many callers. Want to talk to them. It's all coming up next right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We are live on KDKA Plus and 93.7 The Fan.